The history has witnessed the usage of bamboo tools long before the discovery of Stone Age. This shows the ancient relation between bamboo and human evolution. India has been a home for bamboo from ages. The rural Indian encounters bamboo at every step, in every walk of life. Be it a farmer, an artisan, a shopkeeper or a household. The not so glamorous image of bamboo and its association with rural setting are slowly being removed and bamboo is proving to be an asset for smart, chic and urban lifestyle. The aesthetic looks of bamboo inspire the modern living to look beyond the traditional application of bamboo that had started gaining popularity in the last decade. This revolution has presented bamboo as one of the sustainable furnishing idea and exploited its usage as bamboo furniture. Apart from its ethnic or rustic look, bamboo furniture is known for its strength, easy maintenance, lightweight and durability. Mechanized bamboo furniture using laminates and boards is the thing of the future. The National Mission on Bamboo Applications through its technological research and insight has furthered the traditional art of making furniture by transforming it into an organized industry. NMBA realized that innovation is lacking in furniture designing. The Center for Bamboo Initiatives set up by National Institute of Design Ahmedabad is one of the paramount institutes in designing of modern bamboo furniture. The center had started by developing sleek, attractive and high-end products out of the bamboo by designing practical home and office furniture. The momentum of commercialization of bamboo furniture by NMBA has led to the establishment of VEDHA, a demonstrative enterprise in mechanized processing of bamboo furniture at Nagpur in Maharashtra. We have a enterprise or so to say industry in Bhandara district. We have around 15 artisans associated with us. They have been participating in regular manufacturing process. And also we have got a large artisan community associated with us. They are largely living in rural areas and providing support to our industry. Together, they indeed are perfect picture of socially and economically sustainable industry. The wide range of stunning furniture design depicts the fusion of ethnic looks with modern trend. From chairs, tables, sofa sets and stools, bamboo furniture encompasses a large range of varieties to accommodate buyer of every class. With NMBA support, the traditional artisans have assumed the role of master trainers who impart training to the villagers. Thus, the combination of skilled and semi-skilled workers forms clusters that produce the material required for production. We've got deep conviction that these people who are craftsmen, who are living in the rural areas, don't need to go to college, don't need to go and get a master's degree in order to be wise and to be able to deliver you good quality. They need to go through an alternate kind of education program, which is what we have evolved. And this we have been able to encapsulate in a product-based training program. So what we are coming here and doing is we are not giving them any philosophy. We are telling them, here is a product that works. NMBA has developed markets for them across the country where these products are sold and generate good business and profits for them. The furniture factory at Katlamara in Tripura is an inspiring example. This factory was established with the help of NMBA and is running under the guidance of Tripura Bamboo Mission and employs village folk who with their traditional skills make furniture that are being liked all over the country. We direct market. So obviously this is our income level. वहाँ से कोई गुना ज़्यादा बार गया है। आगे मासे तीन आदत है हमको काम है तम। बेअकाउंट यार डबल पहले तीन गुना है क्या आम तो माइने। The transformation of bamboo furniture sector from home scale activity to an enterprise is not just limited to northeastern sector. 
it is gradually adopted throughout the country. In order to make sustainable development of bamboo-based furniture a reality, Konkan Bamboo and Cane Development Center or CONBAC based at Sindhudurg initiated the movement by inviting trainers from Northeast for development of common facility centers. Over the time, CFCs have enhanced their skills through their own zeal and are now initiators of major training programs in the region. Initially, we brought the artisans from Northeast as a master trainer here. We have trained our local manpower and now I can tell you that we have reached to such a level that we are right now giving a training to artisans who came from even Northeast. The center is equipped with modern facilities which cover the different style of bamboo-based modern furniture with ethnic look within affordable prices. Center can be considered as a pioneer in itself in bamboo products which is mitigating poverty through livelihood and local enterprise generation. Initially uh, when we started we found that uh, traditional bamboo artisans were there but uh, because of and they are used to make only baskets and that type of product. But because of uh, plastic, you know, these products are not now right now commercial viable. And the income which uh, the traditional bamboo artisan used to get is very low. It's around 15 to 20 rupees per day. But now we can proudly say that our highly trained artisan earns more than 6,000 rupees a, a month and uh, up to even a 12,000 rupees a month and normal semi-skilled artisan can earn more than 3,000 rupees a month. Working closely with various organizations, the NMBA is developing mechanisms and methodologies to encourage the entrepreneurs to explore the possibilities of bamboo furniture industry. Following this pathway, furniture made from bamboo flooring can be considered as another milestone of NMBA's contribution towards strengthening the sector by promoting designers, entrepreneurs and creating market linkages. NMBA's association with IIT Guwahati has provided a new direction to bamboo furniture with modern technical inputs. The furniture developed includes a unique range of innovative portable ideas which could provide stronger competition to wood furniture whereas foldable chairs and tables made from bamboo composites are compact in size, consume less space, yet are cost effective. If we don't buy bamboo furniture, then naturally we are buying wooden furniture or we are buying steel furniture or we are buying plastic furniture. And if you are buying wooden furniture, then mind it that we are attacking forests. If we are using metal furniture or steel furniture, mind it, we are consuming huge amount of energy. And if we are buying plastic furniture, then we are destroying our environment. This is the seed of a long journey, which will be an explosion, which will transform from the grassroots up. This place has got wealth. And the wealth is in the soil, in the rain that is falling, and in the abilities and the ideas that the people have. This can be transformed. NMBA, in association with various state missions and institutions, has transformed the conventional image of bamboo furniture as rural, economical utility to ethnic, modern lifestyles asset. This transformation is not only improving the picture of bamboo furniture, but also upgrading the lifestyle of artisans and manufacturers.